Hi, this tutorial will be about the widgets up here. So these are the system tools. So anything that has a tool like a Dropbox, for instance, that has a tool up here will um, show up. But um, there are also other things that we can discuss up here. And the first one I like to discuss is this light rain thing. This line, light rain is Belgium, by the way. So um, probably you're not uh, living in Belgium. There are a few Arco Linux people from Belgium and from Holland as well. But um, well, if you're some, from somewhere else, uh, where do we change this? Okay, and that's the topic. Okay, we need to navigate. So while uh, we solve things like that, we'll navigate. But first, I'll do super shift D because I just noticed I don't have my screen key on and you don't see whatever I'm pressing. Now, this um, super shift D is an awesome thing, but it's eating up some tags sometimes, not always, but sometimes. So super shift R and up it's going to be back. And we just wait for variety to show us beautiful wallpaper. So now you see what I'm pressing. Because it's a keyboard driven system, it's like i3, it's, it's keyboard driven. I have been uh, a little bit off track because I hated the fact that um, the terminal did not have a NeoFetch icon there and then I made a few tutorials in between just to be creative. But now we're back on track, we're back to awesome. So we're going to investigate, hey, what's this thing here, light rain? Oh. So that's Belgium, right? Okay, how do we fix this? In the meantime, we'll navigate around and you'll see how to move and change and use applications. So you can use the tag like so. There's also the super tab to just navigate to it. And let's go to five, for instance, and say, okay, let's have a super F1. And then something launches, all right. So we have here an application, okay. So Vivaldi has started and clicking here is going to minimize it. It's going to be in here now and getting it out is always a problem for me. I always keep forgetting super S is your way to find it out and say, hey, I minimize, some, minimize something. Control super N, restore minimized. Okay, control super N, control super N. Okay, whew, there it is again. So normally you wouldn't touch anything, but you know how it goes and then, ah, where is it now? So the super S, that's just my message for you guys. Hey, it's there, use it. Then um, we need another application. We need super F2. We take another screen, another tag, another workspace. There it is. Now from last project, of course, I have already something in here. I've also told him to use syntax of Lua. So you might have something completely white which is uh, plain text, I suppose, something like this, even without this thing. So check out the video where I install Lua syntax and where I install pigments and minimap. So these three things have been installed and that gives or makes our life super, but really super easy. It's already difficult enough. Remember Lua is a programming language in every programming language, a comma breaks the system. No kidding. So, oh yeah, we're already at the place to be. As you can see, we have had already theme Lua open, but let's close this one and do it all over again. So file, and then you say open add project folder. That's what I would do. And then go to awesome and then say, okay. And you have this awesome folder with everything inside. So you need to, that needs to be open. And then you can, can start digging into all the code if you want that. Otherwise, you just use the system. Yeah, there's no need to dig into the code at all. But if you want the weather, of course, not from Belgium, then you need to. This is the blue one, blue version. You can see it here, power arrow blue. Okay, means that we have a team Lua. I click on here and we go. Oh, yeah, maybe you'll download it. Um, your version and it wouldn't have a wooden floor pyramid so we did an exercise a few videos ago so that's why we have here now this new name but we need to navigate to theme we need to find out and let's maybe take a quick look at the theme.lua just in general 
here we have a lot of variable sets so if you want to change colors oh it's all up here and thanks to pigments you see what color it is you see what is, what is blue and what is red and, and, and all that you see it and we have some icons we are going to use all, all that okay so the temp temperature icon dot net icon if you don't like the icons you can change them there but there are lots of elements so lots of widgets that's the name the actual name we box widgets so this panel is called we box and this element is called e we box widget okay parts of the system um, so lots of elements also volume mpd which is this one we're gonna talk about that in a separate video here's the memory that's your memory and that's your CPU and so on let's stick to the weather so we have this uh, explanation that we have a link it's not yet an explanation it's a link so what do we do with a link we go to a browser click on it and then we say what country do we live in and um, whether it's London whether it's New York let's let's actually find something let's find New York like I said and there is a New York in US, in the GB, in Sula, whatever that is, Slovenia or something, probably. Anyway, New York, US is the one I meant. And up, up here is actually a number, so an ID. So it's this what we need, Control C. Let's take a look at the weather for the last time. Rain, 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 okay? Five times rain, fine, great in Belgium. Great to make tutorials. This is our city ID, placeholder for Belgium. All right, Control V. This is no longer Belgium. That's a completely different number, but it's still rain, rain, rain. Okay. Anything you change in Lua code, you say to the system, "Hey guy, reload now." Super S. How do you tell the system to reload? Here it says Shift Super R, reload. Okay, that was. The shortcut super shift r now there is your pyramid wallpaper we've made the exercise to actually change the lua and that's why it is here now how's the weather oh clear snow heavy snow clear clear definitely no longer in belgium okay we ag you agree that we've uh, changed it and this element is all you need to know and all the rest just keep off if you place a comma anywhere you will break the system i'll make a tutorial right now about just that all right cheers